one thing that we've talked about, and we'll hopefully get into it in the Q&A, is just how fast the news cycle is. And it's very difficult to keep up as a cartoonist, uh, especially as one who's stupid enough to do animation. Um, so before we start, let's start with the patriotic song, You're Welcome to Sing Along. Um, this is something I did uh, actually before they dropped the mother of all bombs. So I needed to kind of upscale this next time, but let's start this off. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So that one, uh, I have to give a, a little credit or a lot of credit to uh, the woman who sang that, a uh, good friend of mine and voice actor slash singer, Stephanie Reggio, who, you know, clearly I couldn't do that. And <laughs> in the early days of my animation, I was doing all the voices until one editor finally said, it just sounds like it's you doing all the voices. <laughs> I said, well, because it is. So this next one, I, I'm sure some of you remember when Trump mentioned the, uh, the terrorist attack in Sweden and how everybody kind of laughed at him. And, and then lo and behold, a couple days later, there was a riot and some immigrants burnt some cars. And, you know, it was not good, but still, he finally had his terrorism. So uh, let's take a closer look. We can dig a little deeper into Sweden and the evils of Sweden in this cartoon. Which attack in Sweden is right for you? Is it the last night in Sweden attack? Sorry, nothing happened last night and people are laughing at you. How about the attack in Sweden on January 5th? Ooh, sorry, that attack on an asylum center was carried out by neo-Nazis who hate refugees just like you do. What about the 2010 Stockholm bombings? Almost. Well, this one did have a real live Iraqi-born suicide bomber who injured two. Sweden's open-door immigration policy didn't begin until 2013. Try again? The horrific Swedish school attack of 2015, perhaps. Not quite. That attack targeted an immigrant school with a racist stabbing a Kurd, a Somali, and a Syrian. How about some immigrants rioting in Sweden? Yes, congratulations. Now you may justify your immigrant blocking anti-asylum policies using real Swedish violence. Because there's always an attack that's right for you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. So, as you can tell, sometimes I get into researching these things, and that's, that's one of the benefits of, of animation, is you can stuff a lot more information into there. And to, to give you a little, a little insight into what I'm doing, like the, the devious backstory of political cartooning, at least in my mind, is that you're trying to sucker people in with humor and cartoons and funny things and hit them over the head or uh, stick a bunch of information in their brains that makes them think like you do a little bit. So <laughs> now that you know the secret, um, sometimes what I do is I will just turn the cartoon over to Trump uh, and just let kind of kind of imagine what it would be like if we just let him take charge of cable TV more than he already has anyway. Tonight on Trump TV, terror attacks ignored by the mainstream media and more. By now, thanks to Kellyanne Conway, you've heard of the Bowling Green Massacre, the absolute <laughs> worst imagined massacre in the history of imagined radical Islamic terror massacres. It was just <laughs> awful. The kittens, the children, the horror. 
Not alternative reality attacks were also ignored by the mainstream media. Ever heard of the Paris attacks? San Bernardino? The Orlando nightclub attack? Of course you haven't, because the media was too busy praying to Mecca. Never mind that the overwhelming majority of radical Islamic terror victims are Muslims. It's Christians who matter, no matter what some so-called judges in our so-called country say. Just ask General Frederick Douglass MacArthur, President Trump's new pick for Secretary of the Crusading <laughs> Army, Trump TV, making America safe again, one executive order at a time. And don't forget, be sure to buy Melania's incredible designer products available now on QVC. <laughs> <laughs> so I was I was very happy to hear someone hiss uh, Kellyanne Conway. One of one of the the best things, and you know, better than any award uh, that that's ever you know, kind of lucked lucked out to hit on me. Um, I was drawing Kellyanne that that caricature of Kellyanne Conway, and my daughter, who's five, came up to me. And she looked at the drawing, and you know, a lot of times I'll draw with her, and she knows that what I do. And and uh, she looked at the drawing, and and uh, she says, "Does she kill little kids?" <laughs> and it's like, it's like a caricaturist's dream to have someone come up and say that. So, anyway, I was happy to hear the hiss. Um, so this next one, speaking of the, the new cycle and, and just how, how quickly things are changing and, and how, how quickly you, you struggle to keep up as a cartoonist, um, one of the things that I've started to experiment with is, uh, is it's basically poor man's motion capture. And we can talk about this later if anybody is more curious about it. Um, but essentially, animation, as you probably know, is super tedious and, and super labor intensive. Um, and through the, the miracle of computers, it's become a little less so. And so one of the things that I've started to tinker around with is motion capture. And I won't show you now, but it's, it's basically on a laptop, I can build one of my characters, and then essentially either I'll say the word or I'll put in the audio from one of my voice actors. And when I move my head, my character moves its head. When I blink, they move, they move their eyes. It's just, it blew me away, and I practically started crying the first time I saw it after, <laughs> after all the hours spent. So anyway, that's a long windup to including uh, other members of the Trump family. Um, and now that little uh, Jared Kushner is on the rise, I had to bring him in here. I'd do anything for you, <laughs> Donald, anything. For you mean everything to me. I know that I'd go anywhere for your sneer. Anywhere for your sneer. Everywhere I see. Let's see, would you secret meet? Anything. Lead the Seventh Fleet? Anything. Make the Middies peace? Anything. Even scrub my feet with Ivanka there. I'd risk everything for this bliss. Everything, yes, I do anything. Anything, anything for you. You gotta love anything. You just say it, sir, and I'll do it. All right. I really would. I promise. Well, these feet aren't scrubbing themselves. So. Is that okay? Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Thank you. Sir. I apologize for. Uh... <laughs> Thanks. I, I apologize for sticking that song in your head for the rest of the night, because it will be there, just like it's in mine. Um, OK, so one, one last cartoon, but I can't believe I got this far without showing much of anything, no pun intended, about Russia. So this next one is uh, a little bit deeper look into Russia and some of my favorite characters who uh, came from Russia, who I kind of co-opted here. Thank you. 
news in a nutshell. In the news today is from Russia with Lovsky. When we last left Agent Vladimir and Tom Tasha, Russian hackers had just broken into the Democratic National Committee. Russia and Tom Tasha deny it, blaming everyone from Democrats to Chinese to a guy in a New Jersey basement. But they're pretty much the only ones who think that. So Trump Tasha mocks the very intelligence agencies he's set to command in a few short weeks, all the while touting an imaginary landslide. Meanwhile, a literal friend of Russia with hundreds of billions at stake in Siberia is tapped to head the U.S. State Department. If oil oligarchs are good enough for Russia, why can't we have one too? The Cold War is over, so what's a little tainted election among friends? Perhaps Trump Tasha's agent Vladimir has a dark side. This is the case of a Russian fishing expedition, weaponized by Democrats who helped Agent Vladimir tip an election in Trump Tasha's favor by clicking on an email link. But, says Trump Tasha, the CIA, FBI, NSA, and Republicans in Congress are weak losers. So there, good night and good tweet. All right. And I will leave it at that. Thank you very much.